Hey you guys, so I'm back today. Um, I wanted to do this piece real quick. At first I thought it was, you know, like rumor mill shit. Like, you know, it might be true, it might not. But apparently there's some legitimacy to this situation. Now, I'm not going to sit here and be messy. I'm not going to say, you know, the way that a lot of these people is putting out this information. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to say, oh, well, Nikki's mother is trying to sabotage Nikki's Queen album release. I ain't even trying to say all that shit. But the point of the situation is, you know, the situation with the son. So that's just what I want to speak about. So at any rate, here's a tweet from Carol Mirage. It says, watch the hip hop. Oh, well, before we get into that, let me go ahead and refresh y'all memory. Or for those of y'all, if you've been living on a rock and you just don't know about this shit. Um, long story short, Nicki Minaj's brother went to jail. He was convicted for sexual assault on a minor. The minor was his stepdaughter. And he had been do he had been raping her quite a while, quite some time. Um, so long story short, you know what I'm saying? They held him. There was a trial, all this stuff. They found DNA evidence of the semen on the girl's pants. Hence why, you know, in Cheetah, you know, Rima said, um, we call that Jelani. Get it, semen in your pants. God damn, shit, that was good. But nonetheless, nonetheless, not a point. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, here, so they, now you're caught up on that situation. So. Nikki has not been, you know, vocal about the situation at all. The last that we heard about her brother, she paid for his wedding. Um, and I, I, along with many other people, suspect she was paying blogs to stay quiet about it because they didn't even start reporting on it. It had been going on for two years. The investigation was ongoing, all that shit. For two years, no blog said anything. Up until Sheetha, then, you know, Cardi B, now uh, all of a sudden feel, people feel like they don't have to kiss Nikki's ass. So now... You know, then people started reporting on it, you know, after, you know, Cardi B and Sheetha and stuff like that. But nonetheless, um, Carol tweeted, and that's Nicki Minaj's mother, by the way, watch the hip hop hood report with Charles Fisher and the fitness share as I share the stocking news. The court doesn't want you to know. And well, she said don't, but nonetheless, doesn't want you to know in a tell all interview about my son's trial on August 8th, 11 p.m., 8-11 3 p.m. Channel 20 Optimum, Channel 37 Verizon. Stream at patv.org slash live stream. Live stream. Then in another tweet, she writes, View and date change for my exclusive tell all interview. They don't want you to know about my son's trial. 8 11 at 12 p.m. on YouTube. Stand by for link. 8 13 at 12 p.m. 8 15 at 11 p.m. 8 17 at 3 p.m. on channels 20, Optimum, and 37, Verizon. So, up until the point where I had seen her tweet, you know what I'm saying? Nobody was, I wasn't even gonna, you know, go along with the story. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not that person, I'm not that thirsty. Like, I need, like, I ain't thirsty at all, you know what I'm saying? But I need some type of concrete beat. But to see her talk about that, you know what I'm saying? It was very shocking seeing as, you know, in most cases, situations are like mother, like daughter, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, apparently she has some news that she wants us to know about, whereas Nikki, you know, as I said, throughout the whole situation has been silent. So as far as I, you know, can say on the topic, you know, I'm going to try to, if I can't watch for what she's talking about, because I don't even know if I got them damn channels <laughs> and I don't follow her on Twitter, but I will try to keep up with the story excuse me, and see this tell-all, you know what I'm saying? As far as I was concerned, I made up in my mind a long time ago that Jelani Mirage is convict, was, was guilty of raping that girl long before the courts made that decision, you know what I'm saying? Um, there was proof out long before. Um, if I'm being honest, he, he looks like a nasty man. So, you know what I'm saying? It, um, I, long before they convicted him, quote-unquote, I had already been called bullshit on his whole story. You know what I'm saying? And then them trying to victim blame the, the girl that was even, or sex shame her, saying that she had a promiscuous pet. Like, that was just, it was enough for me. You know what I'm saying? But um, if y'all don't remember me talking about that, y'all can go back on my YouTube. Probably about last year around November, time up, sometime around that. But um, nonetheless, I will try to see this all, um, interview that she's talking about. And then um, if I catch it or, you know, see some tweets about it or whatever, I'll try to watch a clip of it and update y'all on the situation. But y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Is she trying to sabotage Nikki's album release? Um, do y'all think 
this will help the brother? Will it harm the brother? Y'all let me know what y'all think down below, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.